check out this list of things that are talked about in the letter from a father to a son. In just some 35 lines, these things are what's talked about. Loyalty, trust, self-confidence, money, discipline or correction, joy, life and happiness, common sense, sleep, helpfulness, picking fights, jealousy, and humility. Man, that's quite the list when you really think about it. And, you know, sometimes we can think that the Bible and the teachings of Jesus and the, the, all the things that the church talk about aren't very practical. But when I look at a list like this and it says, you know, things like loyalty, and that's friendship. When it talks about discipline and correction, that's like talking about how things go with your parents and teachers and everything in between. Common sense. Oh, my goodness. We need a whole lot more common sense in the world that we live in. Uh, sleep? loneliness, helpfulness. Uh, anyway, the Bible talks about a lot of these things. And if you were just to read the Hebrew section of the Bible, the book of uh, what we call Proverbs in the third chapter, you'd find 35 verses that address all of those. Now, the hard thing about it is, is that it's hard for us to fully embrace them because sometimes we hear it and we go, oh, that doesn't apply to me. But let me just share one with you. And it's the seventh verse. It says, don't be impressed with your own wisdom. Instead, fear the Lord and turn away from evil. Then you will have healing for your body and strength for your bones. The wisdom walk that we are led on is one that's going to require us to not be impressed with what we already know, but to lean in on what's revealed to us.